Welcome back, deep divers. Ready for another fascinating exploration. Today, we're diving into the world of AI-powered stock trading with this trading agents framework. Sounds intriguing. It is, right? Picture a virtual trading firm. Okay. But instead of humans, we have AI agents running the show, making all the big decisions. So like a Wall Street simulation, but all inside an AI system. Exactly. And here's the catch. These AI agents, they don't operate in that typical black box way. Right, right. They actually communicate and debate their decisions using natural language. You know, just like you and I would in a real trading room. Oh, wow. That's different. So it's all transparent and understandable, which is honestly a breath of fresh air in the AI world. Wouldn't you agree? Thank you for tuning in to Quantopian's Quant Radio, your AI-driven podcast exploring everything related to quantitative finance. If you enjoy this episode, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on future releases. For more Quant-focused content, join us at community.quantopian.com. There you can explore a wealth of resources, connect with fellow quants, engage in insightful discussions, and enhance your skills through our extensive range of online courses. Quant Radio is intended to help people develop their knowledge and skills in quant finance. This podcast is not intended to provide investment advice. And now, back to the episode. Totally agree. Especially when you're dealing with something as sensitive as finance. Trust and transparency, those are key. Now, this framework, it was built with a specific goal. Outperform those traditional stock trading methods. And from what I've read, it did. It did, yeah. Achieving some pretty impressive returns while keeping the risks in check. How'd what? they pull that off? Well, the secret sauce lies in how they structured this whole thing. They gave specific roles to these AI agents, like mirroring a real trading firm. Oh, interesting. So like a division of labor. Exactly. You've got your analyst agents. Think of them as the research gurus, constantly digging into company fundamentals, checking the market sentiment, you know. Yep. And they do this 24-7 at lightning speed. So like super efficient, always on analysts. Precisely. Then you have the researcher agents. These guys take all the findings from the analysts and they debate weighing the pros and cons of different investment strategies. Like built-in critical thinking. Yeah. Making sure all sides are considered. That's pretty smart. Absolutely. And of course, no trading firm is complete without the trader agents, right? They're the ones on the front lines making those buy, sell, or hold calls based on all the research and debate. They've thought of everything. But wait, what about risk? Stock market can be a wild ride, right? How does this system handle that? Don't worry, they got that covered too. That's where the risk management agents come in always on the lookout for anything that could shake things up, like market volatility, geopolitical events, you name it. They're the cautious voices in the room, making sure things don't get too risky. Ah, uh, so it's not just about chasing profits, it's about being smart, balanced, just like a seasoned human trader. Exactly. And to keep things balanced, these risk management agents, just like the researchers, they come with different risk profiles, you know, aggressive, neutral, conservative, bringing different perspectives to the table. A well-rounded team. This all sounds incredibly complex, but fascinating. So let's get specific. The paper dives deep into Apple stock as a case study. What were these AI agents discovering about Apple? Well, the analyst agents went all in. Financial statements, news articles, social media sentiment, even those technical indicators to track market trends. I mean, they left no stone unturned. Like having an army of analysts working around the clock, yeah. but AI-powered so super fast. What happens next? After all that data has been collected. Right. Then the researcher agents take over and the debate begins. Now, some researchers, the bullish ones, they'd focus on the positives of Apple. Strong financials, history of innovation, growth potential, that sort of thing. And then you'd have the bearish ones playing devil's advocate, bringing up those potential risks, maybe the geopolitical climate or Apple's already high valuation. Spot on. Those debates, they're crucial. Got to make sure all sides are heard before jumping into any decisions. Can you imagine those debates? It must get pretty heated. But how do they keep those AI agents objective? Human traders, we can get emotional sometimes. Right? Yeah. How do they make sure that doesn't happen with the AI? That's the beauty of this framework. It's all very data-driven. Unlike the shouting matches you might see on a real trading floor, these AI agents, they stay focused on the facts. You know, they're programmed for logic and balance. And get this, they have a debate facilitator agent. A facilitator. What does that do? It basically acts as an unbiased judge, listens to both sides, analyzes the arguments, and then decides which perspective wins based purely on the evidence. Wow, that's amazing. It's like they've created a system for AI-powered critical thinking. 
That's a great way to put it. It's not just number crunching. They're actually trying to understand the market like we do, but without all the emotional baggage. Okay, so we've got analysts gathering intel, researchers debating, trader agents ready to execute trades, but where does the final decision come from? Ah, that's where the big boss steps in, the fund manager agent. This is the final decision maker. It takes all the insights from everyone, the analysts, researchers, risk management team, and then makes the call to trade or not to trade. A truly collaborative effort. You got it. Each agent playing a vital role. And here's something interesting. They don't communicate through emails or virtual meetings like we might. Really? How do they communicate? Primarily through structured documents and diagrams. Structured documents? That seems a bit unusual for AI, doesn't it? I always thought AI was all about processing tons of unstructured data, like text and images. It is. But in this case, relying solely on natural language, it's like playing a game of telephone. Things can get lost or misinterpreted easily. Ah, I see. So using structured documents, it's more precise, less room for error. Everyone's on the same page, literally. Exactly. Plus, it adds to that transparency we talked about. This is all incredibly impressive, but I'm dying to know, how did it actually perform in the real world? Did trading agents really beat those traditional methods? Well, that's a story for after a quick break. We'll dive into those results and uncover just how powerful this system can be. Don't go anywhere. All right, so they put trading agents to the test using real historical stock market data from like mid-June to mid-November 2024, focused on some big tech names, you know, Apple, Amazon, Google. The usual suspects. Who was going to head-to-head AI versus those classic trading methods? Yeah, exactly. They wanted a fair fight, so they compared it to a bunch of different models, like the simple buy and hold, some standard algorithmic strategies. Did trading agents live up to the hype? Oh, it exceeded it. It consistently outperformed all the other models. No way. By how much? Give me the juicy details. Okay, so for Apple, trading agents pulled off a whopping 26.62% cumulative return. Ooh, that's huge. It is. Now, the second best, some simple moving average strategy, it only managed a measly negative 3.2%, almost a 30 percentage point difference. That's not even close. What about Amazon and Google? Similar story. Yep. For Amazon, trading agents hit 23.21%, while the best baseline model, it only got 17.1%. Still a solid win for trading agents. Oh, yeah. And for Google, 24.36% for trading agents versus a measly 7.78% for the top baseline. So consistent wins across the board. But like we said before, trading is not just about making money. It's about managing that risk too, right? Did trading agents do that? Oh, absolutely. They use something called the Sharpe Ratio, which basically tells you how much return you get for the risk you take. Guess who had the highest Sharpe Ratios every time? Let me guess, trading agents. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. So not just winning, but winning smart, you know? <laughs> Strategic wins. Love it. And here's another thing. Trading agents kept the maximum drawdown pretty low. That means it avoided those huge drops in value, you know, those crashes that can really hurt you. So not only did it make more money, it did it with less risk than those traditional methods. Exactly. Which is pretty impressive considering how unpredictable the market can be. No kidding. Now, something that always bugs me with AI, especially in finance, is that whole black box thing. Mm -hmm. Data goes in, decisions come out, but who knows how it happened? I know, right? It's like magic, but with your money. Exactly. But with trading agents, it sounds like they did things differently. They did. One of the coolest things about this framework is that all the operations, they're communicated in plain English. Remember those reports and transcripts? The ones the agents use to talk to each other? Yep. Those aren't just for the AI. They're for us humans, too. We can actually understand what's going on. So it's like peeking into the AI's brain, seeing the logic, the reasoning behind every trade. That's got to be valuable for traders. Oh, absolutely. It's a level of transparency you just don't see with most AI systems. You can literally follow the AI's steps, see what data it looked at, what arguments it considered, and understand how it reached its conclusions. It builds trust, you know. And probably helps improve the system, right? Mm -hmm. Since you can see what's happening. Exactly. No more blind faith in the algorithm. Now, if AI can trade stocks like this, working together and being transparent about it, imagine what else it could do. The possibilities are mind-blowing. It's like we're moving into a new era of AI, where it's not just about replacing humans, but about working together, augmenting our intelligence. Exactly. It's about tackling those big, complex challenges that we face as a society. And we're just getting started. The future of AI is collaborative, and it's full of incredible potential. That's all the time we have for today's deep dive. Thanks for joining us on this journey. 